Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get custom themes for your R4. So this pretty much works on any R4 card. It might be slightly different depending on what your themes are like. But all you want to do is get your R4 card, take out your SD card. Now you want to plug in your SD card to your PC. You can just use the micro SD to USB adapter. And then I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, once your R4's SD card is connected, you can simply just go onto it. Now you're looking for the themes folder, so I know mine is inside the R4i menu folder. Now this could be different um, for every R4 card, but on this particular one it's just in a skins folder. Now all of the themes are kind of in the same layout, and you can actually edit themes for pretty much any R4 card out there. Uh, this is just for the R4i. So as you can see, it comes with all of these default themes, so we've got quite a few cool ones on here um, I think Pokemon that's a pretty cool one but the theme that I want to change is the default theme now you can completely make your new theme just copy a folder paste it in uh, maybe change the number to like 13 or something um, but I would just rather update this one since it's selected at the moment and I don't really like it so if you go inside of the default theme or whatever theme you want to you can double click on one of the image files and you can actually browse through everything so this image here appears to be the bottom image so this is one I will want to change and then I'm also looking for the top image. Now we can change all these icons as well um, but just the bottom and top image of the DS screens are the main ones. So here you go, this one is the top image because I remember it and then yeah that looks like it's it. So now we can start customizing stuff. So let's take this which was the bottom image and we actually want to completely change this into something completely different that looks really cool. So right now I've actually just got Microsoft um, PowerPoint open just so I can show you the theme that I'm going to update. So here is my top screen. I'm going to change it to this image. Um, I just got this image off Instagram and then here is my bottom screen which I'm going to update to this image. So I just got this off Google Images. I just got a rain background, put some Japanese text on it and then put in the game icons. Now if you're wondering how I did the game icons, um, I actually did it in paint.net but you can do it in pretty much anything you like. You could probably even do it in Microsoft PowerPoint to be honest. Um, you can literally just create shapes, put them over um, the buttons on the home screen because obviously these aren't real buttons, these are just um, images and the button is actually in the code so you will just scroll over the images and then you'll press A. Even though you might think it's an actual button, it's literally just an image. Um, so I could, you know, customize these in Microsoft PowerPoint. It's entirely up to you where you want to customize these from. You know, you could leave it like that and then just copy the whole thing and then paste it in and there you have your image. So yeah, it's entirely up to you how you get these, but these are the ones that I made and I made them very easily within about five minutes. So once you have got your custom images and you've saved them or got them open in Microsoft Word or anything pretty much, just make sure you copy one. Let's do the bottom screen first. So I'm just gonna right click and copy it. Now let's go back onto the R4 and this is the file we want to change. So I'm actually going to open this with paint.net and once it's open with paint.net, you can just press Ctrl V to paste and paste your custom image over the top. So now I'm just going to press enter on my keyboard and then just go and save. Now the nice thing with paint.net is it will shrink it down to the correct size if it is slightly larger. Um, you don't have to expand the canvas or anything like that. So let's just save it, make sure it stays as a BMP file and I'm going to keep this at 24 bit. So I'm just gonna click on okay and it's going to overwrite it. We can now double click to go onto it and we can see that it's got our new image. So now we need to do exactly the same thing with the top one. Uh, I believe the top one is this one here, T screen. Yep, so let's open this with paint.net as well. Now back onto Microsoft PowerPoint, let's get my other custom image and let's copy that. Now back onto paint.net, control V for paste and then press enter. Now we can just save it and save it is exactly the same thing. So now we have got custom top and bottom images for our R4. So we can actually start editing some other stuff now. So here we've actually got, I believe that's a folder icon. I think we're gonna leave that how it is. Um, what is this? These are some different icons. We can actually edit these. If we open these with paint.net, go to adjustments. Let's go to um, hue and saturation. We can actually change the color of these. Um, so let's, where should we put them? I think we're going to put them as a green. So let's just click on OK and save that. 
So let's see what else we've got. We've also got this icon, which we can change the color of as well. So let's open that with paint.net. Now you can completely customize these if you want to. Um, you know, you can open this and put your own custom images. I'm not really gonna go that far just because it seems a lot of effort um, for something really small. But of course you guys can do it. Um, I think I think we're gonna have it maybe as like green like that. I think that looks quite nice. So let's just save that. Okay, so we have got a few other images in here. I think these ones are the Mario images. You can completely change these as well if you want to. And then we've got some buttons. So yeah, I think we're done here. Um, I've changed a few things. Oh, there's also zoom. We can change that quickly. Let's just change um, the colors of the zoom in and out buttons. There you go. I think that looks quite nice. All right, let's save that. So there you go, that is the default theme, completely modified. We can just browse through all the files quickly and just see everything. And obviously it's got my top and bottom image in there. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the PC. Um, you can completely make your new theme as I said before, but it's easier just to edit one that's already on here. So now we can disconnect our SD card, put it back into our R4, and let's see what our custom theme looks like. So now back off the computer, we can just put the SD card back into our R4 and then just simply put it into our DS. Right guys, so over on your DS, we now just want to launch up the R4. Now keep in mind, when I installed my theme, I used the custom theme on the default skin, so my theme should come up straight away. So there you go, the R4 has loaded, and it has successfully loaded up my custom theme. So as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. The quality is pretty nice and the buttons are in line with the cursor. Um, so you can see the cursor is sort of flashing. It's just like that um, outline thing. It's pretty much exactly in line with it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can always change your theme. That will be in options. So if you go into skin, uh, you can actually change it. So um, let's just have a look at this one right here. I'm pretty sure there's different themes you can get. Yeah, so there's all of these themes. So the theme that I edited um, was in fact the default one, which is this one right here. So that is how you pretty much add custom images to your um, R4s skins. And yeah, they actually work pretty well. Obviously I can just boot into games and it will come up with all my games like this as well. So um, yeah, I kind of like it. Oh, and there's the other option I changed. I remember I made that orange and made um, the icons different. And I also made this icon down here a different color. So obviously the game's still working and everything like that. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Just a quick video on how to edit your R4 and edit the skins and get really nice looking custom ones. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.